Hello, everybody. This is for all you people out there that are struggling with melee in Path of Exile 2 because, uh, Lord knows there's quite a bit of us. The number one tip I can give you, and no, this is not a joke whatsoever, is to use your default attack. While you are wielding a mace, which is currently the only melee weapon in the game, really, aside from staffs, just use Mace Strike. I'm not joking. This skill does the most damage out of all of your other abilities. The highest single target damage, period. It costs no mana because it's a default attack, so you can just slap in support gems to it and deal plenty of damage. It's insanity that the default attack is actually the best. There you go. That's like the number one tip. So for recommended links, uh, I would start with Fire Infusion as your first link. Just gives you 25% you know, extra damage. You could also go Brutality if you want, but I would take Fire Infusion first because that would allow you to uh, then get Earthquake as your secondary, and then you can plop in Lacerate, which gives you 30% chance to inflict bleeding. And if you take bleeding on Earthquake, you would then want to use Brutality with it as well. It'd be a no-brainer, right? For the 35% more physical damage, that also applies to the bleed uh, should Earthquake proc a bleed. So I recommend doing uh, Fire Infusion on May Strike, but you can also go Brutality, but then also Martial Tempo. This seems like a really good second choice because there's no mana cost, so you can just attack as fast as you want without draining any mana. So the attack speed is a very nice multiplier. And then once you get later on, I have a Splinter Socket in here. I'm in Act 3, about to be done with Act 3, actually. But you won't get that for a while. So for the two links, I recommend Fire Infusion and Martial Tempo. Then for AoE damage, because uh, there is a certain base type for a mace, which gives you splash damage on strike hits. That's the only source of AoE that you're going to have. So for AoE, I'd actually recommend that you run Earthquake. And you're going to kite enemies. You know, you're going to plop an Earthquake behind you, run through the Earthquake, and then it'll blow up, hopefully, when the enemies are right on top of it. And again, those links for Earthquake are Lacerate and Brutality. Then also you're going to run Infernal Cry, linked with Premeditation. Corrupting Cry is such a bad support gym, it's not even funny. I wouldn't even bother putting this in here. In fact, I'm going to take this out for uh, less mana cost right now, because it's that bad. So Premeditation, Infernal Cry, you're just going to pop Infernal Cry whenever it's off cooldown. You actually don't really care about using it with Earthquake, especially if you're running Brutality, because Infernal Cry gives you extra damage as fire. So if you have Brutality on here and you're dealing no fire damage, you don't want to park it on Earthquake. So just prop, you know, uh, Infernal Cry whenever you want for May Strike, a little bit of bonus damage. That's pretty much it. So Shockwave Totem helps with uh, kiting bosses around and draw some aggro off. Uh, Herald of Ash is insane for clear. Definitely recommend Herald of Ash as well. I don't know if Conk Effect works. I have it socketed in right now. I don't think the 40% more area damage is applying to Herald of Ash because the damage is a ignite. It's not area damage, it's an ignite. So I think I could just Tempted actually take that out flame. right now. Why did you just yell at me, buddy? <laughs> don't don't bother with links. There's Herald of Ash as your aura, Shockwave Totem, draw some aggro, Earthquake for AoE damage, and a little bit of extra single target with a bleed occasionally. And then Infernal Cry, May Strike, that is your bread and butter. Then finally, when you get your first tier two active skill gem, which should be around act two sometime, I recommend that you choose Sunder. And then for the links and Sunder, I'm using Close Combat and Magnified Effect because I believe the area of effect applies to the shock waves, which can overlap and hit the same enemy. I don't quite know if it works like that. It kind of feels like it, but the 40% more area honestly feels really good for clear. And I have enough single target damage with May Strike that it doesn't really matter for single target. I'm using it for clear. And just to show you a little bit of gameplay real quick, see what the playstyle looks like, just substitute Sunder, which I'm using now if you don't have it unlocked yet for uh, Earthquake. It's basically the same exact playstyle. So I'm just going to run in, going to Leap Slam. Leap Slam is actually really good because you can't roll through enemies, by the way. So, uh, <laughs> if you get trapped behind some enemies, you can just leap some. So I just kite stuff, uh, pop Infernal Cry real quick. I'm going to slam the uh, Sunder down. And I'm just going to, you know, rinse and repeat. If I find a tanky enemy, just bam, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack. It's actually not a very dense, <laughs> not a very dense zone here. So normally I'll do something like that. I'll try and jump over the enemies. I'm stuck in a corner. I'm stuck in a corner. Look, I can't jump. Wow, we love movement, dude. And then we're going to just Sunder everything. That's just for AoE purposes. And then we find one enemy. Bam, we're just going to May Strike him to death. There you go. That's all you need to know. I promise I've just made your life 10 million times easier. Use the auto attack really is that simple. I have a build guide link below, by the way, if you want a little more thoughts on uh, the early game of Melee, a little more information. I'm still piecing together all the info for what I'm actually going to transition to in the end game. But other than that, you can follow my stream at twitch.tv slash and subscribe here if you want to see more content. Thank you for watching.